I'm an English major, teaching major, and they are social studies majors. So we decided to do a project that could combine both of those fields. And so Eric suggested that we make up a project about um, kids researching age-based curfew in their community because they exist in some areas, like kids have to be inside by a certain time at night. And so we decided to ask students what they thought about an age-based curfew, whether they agree or disagree with it, so they can work on persuasive writing for English, and they can work on learning about um, like civics and community government, um, like city government on a social studies side. And you guys want to add, yeah. talk so about our project? It's like three steps. The first one, um, they're going to blog about the pros and cons of it. Uh, that we're going to have guest speakers come in or Skype with them to give them a point of view, and then they'll have to do some research and have a blog that you know requires them citing sources and things like that. And then after that, they're and then we would set up a sort of a virtual debate. Each each group making their own YouTube video for or against, setting up a YouTube channel, and then sort of having an ongoing debate within the comment section of the YouTube channel, and then sort of wrap it up from there with kids taking one position or another going to. Uh, Persuasive letter. Yeah, doing a letter to whoever would be able to change the, the legislature. age The legislature, and that's their culminating thing at the end. They're going to write a letter to try and say, here's why we think you should make this decision, or here's why we don't. We think you shouldn't. No, awesome. And so project. That's awesome. Wow, I wish I was back at school. Yeah, yeah. So we, ne I. we never <laughs> used to do that stuff. Well, I'm trying to teach them. About now, wait, wait a minute. Have you guys contacted the outside agency yet? Yeah, yeah, we sent it to uh, uh, our our methods teacher. Yeah, he's uh he's he's he teaches us. He also has he teaches at I think Pete. Yeah, he's a seventh grade social studies teacher yeah. at Pete. So he loves to critique our work. So we decided to keep letting him do that viciously. So it'll be he good loves critique. To pull <laughs> it'll apart. be really good, huh? Great. Anybody yeah. else want to share? Thank oh, let's give him a hand. <laughs> you got applause from around the world. Yeah. Anybody else? I don't. <laughs> How about the one with uh, cystic fibrosis? Yeah, you guys better go. That's cystic fibrosis project. Yeah, go ahead. That was an example, Doctor Z. No, but what, what, the group that sits in front of the um, uh, that's, I mean, that's in front, in front of the, the desk there. You guys had some kind of disease you were going to work with, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nora. Hi. Oh, no, no, no. I think I'm too tall for this. Oh, is it us no, you're okay. talking about, Trudy? Yeah, tell, tell us about what you did or you're doing. Go ahead. Um, okay, so our scenario is that our classroom it has about uh, 24 kids, and one of them has leukemia. Okay. And um, we are, or, and he gets treatments from St. Jude's, which is a local hospital in Cedar Rapids, yeah. and um, just that he's getting treatment from there, and that we have to um, pull together to learn more about cancer and what it does to you, and how you know treatments work, and how it affects Billy's life or whatever, and. Um, then we were going to go there and, you know, hang out with cancer patients or anything like that. And then um, advertise with blogging, wikis, videos, posters. We basically just wanted to find a way that we could help our students um, better understand the life of a cancer patient and to figure out what they can do to help, help people that have cancer. Uh, for example, like their classmate, um, who we named Billy. And um, so basically we're, what we're going to have the students do is they're going to um, put together like a videos and, uh, and they're going to like blog about their experience. They're going to have like a website set up for donations, um, like school assembly. They're going to organize all these things to get the community involved, get the whole school involved, um, basically to just to make it more aware of what it's like for a patient to have cancer. Cool. Yeah. Cool. This is a pretty outstanding group. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. Okay, well, thanks thank a lot, guys. guys. Thanks. All right, thank thanks you. for coming. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye, guys. Salam. Salam. Yeah, salam. salam. I'm going to take, take Dr. Zeitz to uh, 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 Jarash on Friday. So do some research on Jarash.
J A R A S H. No, 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 no. J E R A S H. Well, they would have figured that out. Jarash. <laughs> we're, we're not going to Petra. No, no, it's too far away. Adam tells me I should go to Petra, but yeah, it's, it's three, three hours each way. Yeah, well, a bit longer than that. You guys we got it. Spell it again. J E R A S H. Juliet, Echo, Romeo, <laughs> Alpha, Sierra, Hotel. Not H. H. Not hash. We're not smoking <laughs> hash. H. Put that yeah. hash away. It's a rash. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's the Pompeii of the Middle East. It's an old Roman, uh, Roman construction. Yeah, the Romans used to own this place. Yeah. So, 3,000 years ago. Well, 3,000 years ago. Now, now their whole economy is going in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then the Nabataeans Nabat came after that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, you, you guys, look up, Jarash. I'm going to take my scarf back. There you go. <laughs> He's got a full head of hair. Yeah, see, I didn't need one of those things. Uh, okay. See ya. Good night, guys. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so things are going well, huh? Very well. Yeah. yeah. Good. Now, go. a few of you were concerned about where I was going to be staying. And this is a little better than the place that was in the video. You want to see it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so what... Um, let's see. I've got two beds... There's one there, and another one over there. It's actually a pretty posh little place. I think I can walk around with this and show you things. Um, I'll tell you what. One thing I'll show you is the um, the plugs. And let's see. You see the plug down there? Yeah. You see the plugs? Yeah. Now this plug. Hang on. Can you see that? Yeah, we can see it. Okay. This plug actually has this kind of end on it. And interestingly enough, it ha you know, they have baby, um, uh, baby, what do they call it? baby safe plugs and things like that in the States? This is all built in because when you put a plug in here, actually, no, that's on this one. Um, anyway, there's some fancy things you do with that. But so, and this actually, um, it runs 220 volts rather than the 120 that we, or 110 that we have in the States. And then, uh, let's see. Uh, so this is, this is what the place looks like. Got a nice bathroom. But I have to tell you that um, we are meeting with, there's probably 100 people here, and um, may, maybe more. And these are the heads of state. And it turns out that... Um, uh, Let's see. It, it is really interesting. I haven't written this up in the blog yet, but the majority of this is done in Arabic. And what that means is I'm the one who has to put, put the, the headset on and have somebody translate it for me, which is kind of interesting because it gives you, you know, as Americans, we're very ethnocentric. And we figure that everybody does things the way we do it, and they all speak English. Well, that isn't true. And so what it does is it kind of makes you the outside person looking in. And it's really interesting that you know to, to have that feeling and see what it, what it's like. Um, let's see. Today, what we did is uh, we had a session where we spoke and, and discussed about the TVET program. And it, it, those of you who have read the blog or, or watched the um, the, um, uh, the the twitters the tweets, um, TVET means technology and vocational education and, and training. And so we had the leaders of TVET get together, and we talked about a new plan that they're putting together. And truthfully speaking, they're really going to be reorganizing the system. And one of the things that we're pushing is pro project-based learning. Because, you know, what basically it's industrial arts, you know, industrial technologies. And these people are learning how to work in factories and that sort of thing. But the problem is that the, the manufacturers are saying, oh, it's nice that they know how to run such and such. But they need to have all of those skills. And we've been calling them 21st century skills, where it's problem solving and uh, what are the other ones? Critical thinking and communication, collaboration, all those things we've been, we've been talking about. They really want them here. And uh, I did a presentation yesterday. They took a, I had a 30-minute presentation. They said, you have 15 minutes. Now, I wasn't even going to be able to fit it in 30 minutes. And so I, I had, you know, I only, only got about half of it. And then today I was part of that organization, that group that, that talked with them. And then on, uh, 
Thursday, I have three workshops that I'll be doing. And the first one's kind of like the kinds of technology stuff that we do over in the U.S. The second one <clears throat> is on project-based learning. And the third one is on the technology integration matrix. And so that's something that I'm sharing over here. And you know what? They're really excited about it. In fact, they're even thinking about creating one of those for TVET, an international TVET. So the things that you guys are learning are right, they're cutting edge, and they're, they're the things that are making a difference in the world. Isn't that exceptionally cool? <laughs> Ooh, all right, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess that's probably about it. Anybody else have any questions or anything? Are you going to bring us back presents? Well, guess what? I found, I got something tonight. Yeah, okay, yeah, well, I mean, don't, don't, uh, wait till you get them, but, uh, yeah, you, uh, you're in my thoughts, not a problem, <laughs> and, uh, it's good to know that you're thinking of other people, <laughs> okay, well, then I guess I'll sign off, and, um, we'll see you online, okay? Bye. Bye. Thanks, and thanks, Rachel. You're welcome.